Warrior 2496 X-ray, runway 9, full length, cleared for takeoff. Warrior 2496 X-ray. Cleared for takeoff, X-ray. Uh, tower, uh, that warrior just part of the right main gear strut and wheel just fell off the airplane. Roger. Warrior 2496 X-ray, tower. Yeah. Okay, Warrior 2496 X-ray, the uh, WACO just said that your right main is now missing from the airplane. It is, it's fallen off the airplane. Say your intentions. Can I circle back to land? Warrior 906 X-ray, affirmative. Um, are you a solo, ma'am? I'm a student pilot solo, yeah. Okay, just it's, it'll be okay. Just um, go ahead and uh, circle the airport for now. Make a right turn to circle. We're going to get some people out to help you, okay? Pattern altitude 1,100, and you can make a right turn out, okay? Okay. Where you're not six X-ray, just circle. We're going to get some people out to help you. Everything will be okay. Okay. Nine or six X-ray, just continue to circle. Go ahead and fly overhead the air runway. Um, just like you would be flying a normal pattern, but just maintain your altitude. We're going to get someone out on the frequency to help you, all right? All right. And then 9 or 6 X-ray, just continue circling. It's, we've got uh, possibly an instructor that should be able to come up on the frequency, all right? All right. And 6 or X-ray, uh, just a uh, 9 or 6 X-ray, I'm sorry. Just continue circling. We do have someone that will be able to hopefully get on the radio and help you uh, with the landing, all right? All right. And uh, North Atlantic, uh, can you, are you able to come over to the tower and come up here? Okay, we'll just get an escort over. Um, we have a DC-3 that they want to try and get in before her, but she's still circling, so if we would prefer to have you up here. Nine or six X-ray tower. Yeah. Okay, 906 X-ray, we have one of the instructors up here, uh, Greg. He just wants to make sure how you're doing. Okay. Hey, Maggie, this is Greg. Um, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> as good as it gets, I guess. Yeah, listen, it's going to be okay. So um, you got plenty of fuel. Um, you got the aircraft under control. So uh, you're just going to continue circling. John's uh, John's going to be here shortly, and we'll keep you uh, we'll keep you updated. But we'll we'll work it out. All right. Beverly Tower, this is Colonel uh, 181. Uh, we're currently quite a ways out to the south. Uh, just wondering if uh, the airport will be uh, good to go in a little bit. Chronos 181, Beverly Tower, we're just going to go ahead and bring you in. Um, enter the right downwind for runway 9. And um, we're going to bring you in before this aircraft lands. So just enter the right downwind, maintain 1,000. Uh, just go, yeah, regular pattern altitude, and we'll bring you in around her. Hey, so uh, we're still currently with uh, Boston Approach. They have us on headings right now. I was just calling to see ahead if we needed to uh, choose an alternate, but uh, we'll talk to you in a minute here. And Seneca, I mean, uh, Warrior 9 or 6 X-ray, there's a DC-3 that's off to your right. He'll be landing, so just extend down a little bit, and you can just maintain your altitude and fly behind him, all right? All right, looking for traffic. At Beverly Tower, Kronos 181 is uh, now with you, maneuvering right downwind runway 9. Kronos 181, Roger, report midfield on the downwind. We'll report midfield on the downwind, Kronos 181. And uh, Warrior 9 and 6 X-ray, you can uh, turn it back into the field. This time, I want you to circle to the north or to the left, all right? All right. And Kronos 181 is midfield right downwind runway 9. 
Kronos 181, runway 9, clear to land. Runway 9, clear to land, Kronos 181. Team Warrior 9 or 6, X3, on this path, I'm going to have you circle to the left. I do have two aircraft coming up from the south that will be landing. Just circle to the left. We do have some instructors up here, so just continue to do the circling like you are. You're doing a good job. Okay, I'll circle to the left. Six, X3. Warrior 9 or 6, X3, if you can, just go ahead and make that left turn now for the base and then overfly the runway again. I do have traffic coming up from the south, all right? All right. So, we tell the afternoon coming 28434, uh, just about eight out in the uh, south shore here, landing with the Edis uh, Buckland. Aircraft calling Beverly Towers, say again? It's uh, coming uh, 28434, out over uh, uh, Beverly Harbor here, with the Park Valley. Grumman, a 434, Ident. Grim 434, Roger, enter the uh, right down for runway 9. Right down with the 9, Grim 434. Grim 434, runway 9, clear to land. Clear to land, uh, runway 9, uh, Grim 434. Hey kids, uh, I can park back on the tower ramp yet? 434, negative, and I uh, plan on exiting at runway 16. I have emergency vehicles on. Uh, Fox, are you at the exit at Bravo or runway 16? I do that, four people. I'm sorry, to verify, clear to land, going four people. Ground 434, affirmative, runway 9, clear to land. Clear to land, uh, runway 9, going four people. 49 and 6, x ray it won't be much longer. Uh, you're doing a really good job. We do have the uh, two instructors up here, so we'll be helping you here shortly, all right? All right. Maggie, this is John. How you doing? I'm okay. Okay, you're doing a great job flying the airplane. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. They're uh, going to stage the equipment uh, just in case anything's needed there, but we're just going to wait. We're going to take our time here. we got plenty of time. you got plenty of fuel. we got plenty of daylight. So um, just try to relax, and you always heard me say go back to basics. So we're going to work the basics here as much as possible, okay? All right. Uh, so, Maggie, it's John again. They just did a final sweep of the runway to make sure there's nothing out there that's going to cause any problems. Um, I can see a tank uh, at altitude lining up the runway. So, won't you just continue down like you normally do? Um, what I'm thinking is just have you fly down the length of nine like you're doing right now. And then when you're comfortable, I'm going to have you turn and, um, to the left and enter a left downwind on 09. Would that work for you? Yeah, that works. Okay, and uh, I'll tell you, um, I'm going to keep an eye on you and maybe suggest when you might want to start to turn uh, crosswind and downwind. We're going to do this just like we did. I know it's hard to say this, but treat it like as much as like a normal landing as you can. Um, so the power settings we've always done, the pitch for the airspeed, keep everything as normal as you can. All right. So, Maggie, the other thing is, is um, we've looked at the part. We pulled that off the run. We've looked at it. Bill Eason's looked at it. Um, Greg and I have looked at the airplane through binoculars, so it's your right wheel that's missing. So as you end, the plus side here is you get a little bit of a left crosswind. So if you use your normal left wing crosswind correction, that means the left side will touch down first, and you're just going to ease the right side down. It's going to try to pull to the right, so be prepared to use left, as much left rudder and left brake as you have to to try to keep it on the center line. All right. Okay, Maggie, well, let's uh, do a left crosswind turn, and you're going to be flying approximately a heading of uh, 360. All right, uh, left crosswind 360. So, Maggie, you're in a better position than I am to call when you t want to turn left downwind, but give yourself uh, plenty of room. You don't want to cut the base too tight. So as you turn downwind, make sure like the left wing tip, just the left wing tip is just touching the runway. That should give you uh, sufficient space. You know, like I said, as much as normal as possible. All right. What's real good, Maggie? Uh, you get enough spacing out there? Um, I think so, yeah. 
We're not going to rush everything. This is going to be perfectly normal. If if something looks wrong, I'll tell you to do a go around. But we're going to do a perfectly normal landing here. All right. Um, should I drop the flaps now? Yeah, I want you to reduce to about 2,000, 2,100 RPM, and under the white arc, drop the flaps and trim it for about 80. All right. Okay, Maggie, let me know when you're comfortable and you're trimmed up. Um, I think I'm good right now. Okay, so just like we've done it a lot of hundreds of hundreds of times before, just kind of look back over the left wing. You want to be about a 45 degree angle from nine, and then um, bring the power back. To, I'm gonna say about 1700 because there's not a lot of wind here, and just a normal turn to base. You're gonna be doing a left turn to a heading of uh, 180 for that base leg. I am turning now. Everything is looking good, Maggie. Hang in there. Keep, just keep doing what you've been trained to do. Okay, second notch of flaps and trim for about 75. All right. Okay, Maggie, is your turning final? What, do you feel high or do you feel low? Um, I feel high. Okay, let's reduce the power. Why don't you bring it back to about 13, 1400? Okay, so I'm 14. And about 70 knots. 75 initially. So, Maggie, when you're comfortable, go to full flaps. All right, I'm there now, sorry. That's okay. You're doing a great job. Just remember that zero nine your aiming point. Very light winds, Maggie. Very uh, light left crosswind. So that's, that's all to your advantage. You're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a perfect job, Maggie. Just treat it like a normal landing. It's going to try to pull to the right. So when that when that, that left main touches down, our uh, right main touches down. Yeah, beautiful job, Maggie. You got a whole bunch of people clapping for you up here. So just make sure you shut the mags off, shut the master off, and get out of the aircraft and away from it as clear as you can. Great work. Thank you. Great job, Maggie. Excellent job.